Emily and Ben Newman have three children first came Tristan and Rowan. Then little Winnie was born. Today, the parents of these wonderful boys wake up every day in fear, because every new day can bring terrible news about their children. Rowan has been a real sunshine since day one. As soon as he learned to smile he was always smiling. One day we noticed incomprehensible bruises on his body. They were getting bigger and bigger. Dot say the boy's parents. A few days later, after the doctor's examination and tests, they got a call, it's leukemia. We just couldn't believe it, and the ground went under our feet at that moment. Our baby has cancer. The treatment started quickly. The baby responded well to the chemo. After several courses he was able to go home. The family bought a house as they got Winnie. Everything was going well until. We noticed that Rowan was back to being so depressed, like he was at the beginning of his illness. The cancer is back, says mom. Hospitals again, treatment, tears and fear. During that period, we were horrified to notice that Winnie wasn't acting like other babies her age. We went to the hospital, but now with our daughter. Little Winnie also had cancer neuroblastoma. It had already taken over her bones, her liver the cancer was everywhere. The doctor was telling me something, but I couldn't hear him, I was so terrified and I was so scared and in so much pain that I wanted to leave. The phone receiver fell out of my hands, and we never got to say goodbye to the doctor, says the mother. Her two young children were sick. What could have been done? Rowan's cancer is back, and her daughter is so sick. Rowan's leukemia came back, but it was brought under control. And when he had surgery doctors removed a large tumor. As time goes on Rowan is feeling much better. The third chemo helped him a lot. Winnie has already begun to walk and is trying to talk. The danger of the tumor occurring is very high, but the parents try not to think about it. We fight every day. We want to protect our children from all of this, but how? Only to move on and believe that it's all over, the children's mother says. While they were in the hospital, the project for a new house was put on hold it remained unfinished. The local government raised money and a construction crew that helped them finish the house quickly.